In this short film, we will show you how you can generate power using your home. We'll speak to customers to learn how simple it is, how it adds value to your property and reduces your impact on the planet. Although there's many amazing ways of generating electricity, with wind and water for example, there's also some very discreet ways of doing it too. And it's really worth thinking about. So let's meet somebody who's already done it. Peter Millwood had a micro-generation system fitted over a year ago now. But you'd never know that this is now a very green power station. He went for what are called photovoltaic panels on his roof, PV for short, and they produce electricity. I asked Peter how easy it was to get them installed. Oh, it was surprisingly straightforward, actually. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't describe it as a big job. Yeah. I mean, all there is down here is, is the meter, uh, which is fed from I mean, the solar panels and then... Uh, and through the inverter, it comes into here, and, and that's recording how much electricity we generate. Simple as that. And what sort of help did Mpower give you? Well, I mean, the website tells you the basic facts of the thing, and then um, we used Npower's um, supplier, EcoFirst, to actually plan out the system, and they basically did it all for me. I mean, it was, I didn't really have to do that much, to be honest. It was, it was pretty straightforward. Another more traditional approach are panels that heat your hot water, known as solar thermals. Here in Birmingham, the City Council are experimenting with fitting them to large council houses. We found it to be a very reliable and efficient system, so we were quite happy with the installation once it was up and running. As an investment, why did the council go for solar panels? It's a tried and tested technology, so we didn't feel as if we were uh, piloting the technology itself, even though we piloted it on this property. But this was certainly a, a, a very good starting point for us as an authority. I've come to the Energy Saving Trust, a non-profit organisation which exists to reduce the effects of climate change. Matt Colmer, their housing development manager, says there are other important benefits to micro-generation. It gives people uh, confidence in their energy. They will be producing it themselves, very much an independence from the, the network of energy uh, in the UK at the moment. Security of supply, I think, is uh, very important. And it does, to a certain extent, uh, insulate yourself against rises in, uh, in fuel prices in the UK. That's a quick overview of what micro-generation is about. As we've seen, it's easy technology to install and it can lower monthly fuel bills. And its value is more than just the simple installation cost versus money earned or saved. It's about investing in your property. And more importantly to me, it's about saving our planet. Yeah.